we are at risk for a couple of species. I think one of the one of the most invasive is the quagga mussel, uh, recently found in Montana. We have kept the quagga mussel out of our state for a number of years. Um, Lake Mead is full of them. Um, it's it, it's devastating um, to docks, um, water systems. Um, imagine if we got the quagga mussels in the Snake River drainage. Um, what it would do to our irrigation systems and the systems that provide water to uh, cities and towns along that, that basin. Quagga mussels are a, an, an invasive species we can't have here. We started a program of inspections, boat inspections, because they have to be brought in. Normally they're brought in on the hull of, or trailer of a boat. And so we started doing inspections about five years ago, maybe six years ago, if I remember. We set that program up when I was in the house. And we've kept trying to enhance that program. Uh, we were inspecting boats as they were coming into the state for eight hours a day. Now we have some, some stations. Ob obviously, boats come into the state more than just eight hours a day. Uh, but we just couldn't afford to have those inspection stations open longer. We've invested more into that program. And now we're in, we're, um, we have some stations that are open 24 hours a day. And we're trying to do more and more in investing um, in that program to keep the muscles out while we're also working with the federal government looking for some kind of a, a quagga mussel wolf um, that can eat all the quagga mussels and, and keep them away. Um, we're doing the best that we can to, can to keep them out of the state now while looking for a long-term solution.